So I have cast on 16 stitches, um, but this is not exactly anything yet. I have used two needles to cast on. You can also use just one needle, but I like to use two because then the edge will be nice and stretchy. So in order to actually start knitting, we need to remove one needle carefully and then turn the other one round. So a couple of things to note. How you hold the knitting needle is very important in the way that uh, the, the better you hold it, the less tired your hand gets. In the beginning it definitely gets more tired because you're not used to holding your hand in this position, but I hold the left needle mainly with my pinky and the fourth finger and my thumb and also the middle finger. The, the forefinger is up here because that is where I drape the yarn over. So how does the yarn actually fit into the picture here? The yarn that is coming from your work is draped over the index finger like this and then it goes over the middle and the fourth finger and then between the fourth and pinky and with with this this bit I keep the tension when I'm knitting because I need to have some yarn here so I can knit but I don't want it to be loose because then it's pretty much impossible or at least very very difficult. Another thing is that when you do the knit stitch, which is what I'm going to do here, the yarn must be behind the left needle. When you purl it must be in front, but right now it's just knitting. So how to do the knit stitch? You look at the first two stitches here. You go in to the first stitch, but not like this. You go from between the two stitches, but again, not not just just cross it, but you go into the loop, inside the loop. The first row is really difficult and tricky, but I promise it gets easier. So we are inside the first loop so what we now need to do is we need to get this yarn through this loop. So do it however it feels comfortable but technically it should be like like this. You grab the yarn, you pull it through the loop and now you pull this one stitch over the left needle and you can you can tighten it uh, a little bit so it's not too loose so let's let's see what happened here we have one knitted stitch and 15 loops basically so again between the first and the second one you go in from behind the first one you enter enter the loop of the first one you can use your middle finger to hold it in place so it doesn't escape because we we want to knit as close to the needle uh, points as possible because otherwise again it is physically difficult so we have entered the loop we grab the yarn that is going over the index finger, we pull it through and we pull the knitted stitch over. When there is this 
bridge between two needles, uh, it can be a sign that you are using needles too big for this particular yarn, which is kind of what I'm doing here, but this way the visual is easier to understand. So again, you can make this loop bigger here if you just, just put the needle through and pull it a bit. This uh, makes this little bridge here shorter and it makes it easier for you to find entrance to this first loop from behind you go in you grab the yarn you pull it through and then you pull it over you might want to tighten it and again between the first and the second, you go inside the loop, grab the yarn, pull it through, and pull it over. <laughs> 